Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be walking you through step-by-step -step a full affiliate marketing tutorial. So by the end of this video, you will know everything you need to know about affiliate marketing to start the business for yourself. Now, this is going to be one of those videos that moves at a rather quick pace, but it's going to go through everything in detail. There's going to be a lot of high value information in this video, totally for free here on YouTube. And what's going to make this one unique is that I'm going to take you through on screen recording on my computer and show you real examples and show you things on my screen so that you can see what this looks like in practice. Now, before we get into this video, if you don't know me, just to give you some credibility, my name is Greg Gottfried. I've been making videos here on YouTube for a couple years now, and I've been doing affiliate marketing for a couple years as well. I learned how to do affiliate marketing kind of the hard way before there was much information on it. So I learned a lot of things from trial and error. That's what I'm going to share with you in this video. A lot of the things that I've learned in the process still are not common knowledge. They're not shared very commonly on YouTube or anywhere else where you learn how to do affiliate marketing. So I think I have some very unique things to bring to the table, and I think you're going to get value value from it. Now, with all of that being said, I do want to spend a little bit of time in the beginning here to go over affiliate marketing so that as we get into real examples of this and different strategies and how you can do it, you have a great understanding of why these different strategies work and why some of them don't work because you understand the concept of affiliate marketing very well. Now, after breaking down the business model of affiliate marketing, then I'll break down some of the strategies that you can use to do affiliate marketing. You'll see the pros and cons to these different avenues of doing affiliate marketing, and you can see which one you would be the most comfortable doing based on what skills you already have. Now, when it comes to the different strategies for affiliate marketing. In this video, I'm going to share with you the most basic affiliate marketing strategies that would be the easiest for a beginner. And I'll work my way all the way up to the most advanced strategies just so you know what's out there and you know the different ways that you could do this business. So sit back, relax. This should be a very helpful video. And if you have any questions along the way that aren't covered in this video, just let me know down in the comments. So first things first, let's break down what is affiliate marketing. And I wanna break it down in a way that's actually relatable and what affiliate marketing really is not the complicated explanation of it. So in the simplest terms, what affiliate marketing means is you partner with a company, they give you a unique referral link, you then share that link with other people, and when anyone clicks on that link and makes a purchase from that company, you get paid a commission on that sale. Now you may be wondering, what is a commission on the sale? What does that mean? Well, this will vary for different companies. So for instance, you might get 25% of however much money they spent at the company, or you might just get a flat rate. So you might get something like $50 for any time anyone makes a purchase of a product. So essentially you are a commission-based salesman for a company, but the beauty of affiliate marketing is that a ton of big companies out there, almost every big company, has an affiliate program and they're all free to join, no strings attached. You don't have to actually be an employee for that company. It's basically like a freelancer where anyone can join for free and then they get their unique referral link and if they don't generate any sales, they don't get paid, no harm, no foul. But if they do generate sales, they'll just get paid out their commissions. So I'll start with a couple examples here to show you what this looks like in the real world. So starting with a company called Best Buy, which is a big electronic store that you can physically walk into here in the United States. If you go to their homepage and you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see that they have all these different buttons that go to like contact us or different places on their website. Almost every big company out there has a button that says affiliate program. So all you have to do is click on this button and you can literally join their affiliate program for free. You literally just click sign up, fill out a little bit of information about yourself and they will give you your unique referral link that you can start sharing with people and automatically getting commissions on anything that they purchase. So that's one example that would be Best Buy. That's kind of a big box in-person store. But once you get into affiliate marketing, you will find that there are even better affiliate programs that you can join. I'll talk on this a little bit more as we get further along. But an example of this would be Amazon. So if you go to Amazon, scroll to the bottom, as you can see right here, they have become an affiliate. And then the same concept here, you just hit sign up and then you can create an account and you can be an affiliate for Amazon. Now, what's cool about this is when you join these programs, you can get unique referral links to any product that that company sells. So when you think about Amazon, Amazon sells so many different products. So you could literally be an affiliate for any different hobby or passion that you have, any different topic, any niche, all through the Amazon affiliate program. Now, one more to show you before we keep moving on here. This is a more unique one. And as we get further into this, you'll start to see why I'm showing you some of these obscure companies. So this, for instance, is a website called Bluehost. Bluehost is one of the biggest 
online software products. It's basically, if you wanna create a website online, most of the times you're going to be using a host, basically someone to make your website live. And Bluehost is one of the biggest ones out there. So with that being said, you scroll to the bottom here and you can see again, they have affiliates. So you might see that it says affiliate program. It might say affiliates. It might say referral program. We're looking for something like that. But you click on here and same concept. You click the button to join now and you can get your unique referral link. And this is a case where they are paying a flat rate instead of a commission. And I'll show you why. This is actually really cool before we move on. So you'll see here, it says you'll get $65 for each sign up or referral. So every time you send them a buyer, you're getting $65 as a flat rate commission. But what I love about this and what starts to get really cool in affiliate marketing is that if you go to one of their products here, if you were to refer someone over here on your link and they go ahead and they say, okay, I want to start with this plan. This is the cheapest hosting that they have. So what's awesome about this is that the person that you referred here can literally spend $35 and 40 cents. They can check out and then you are going to get a $65 commission. It seems kind of weird when you're just hearing about affiliate marketing, how this can happen. How can someone spend $35 and then the company Bluehost is going to pay you a $65 commission? Well, the reason for that is something like website hosting Traditionally speaking, when someone signs up to have their website hosted with a company, they typically keep their hosting with that company for three to five plus years. So Bluehost is going to get that $35 over and over and over again, and they only have to pay us the $65 once. So it's kind of like a win-win. Someone only has to spend $35, and then you, for sending them there, is going to get a $65 commission. So I just wanted to show you that, just a couple different examples of affiliate programs before we start getting into different strategies and moving on from here. Okay, so before we get into these strategies, a couple little rapid fire frequently asked questions that are probably going to be really helpful for you if you're just getting into this business. So the first question here is, do you need any prior experience if you're going to start affiliate marketing today? The short answer here is no. There are so many different routes or avenues, different ways that you can do affiliate marketing that even if you're starting as a complete beginner, you've never had an online business before, you can start today and you can have success. Another fun fact about this while we're talking about getting started, affiliate marketing is 100% free to start. As you can see with these different programs, you can join the programs totally for free. And then the different ways that I'll show you, you can do the marketing to get people to click on your links for free as well. Okay, the next question, if you are to start affiliate marketing today, how soon can you start making money? Now, this is going to depend on your pace of how quickly you are creating marketing content and sharing that online. But I would say that it's safe to say that you should start making money from this in the same month that you start. This is not one of those business models where you start and you have to wait and wait and wait a year until you start making any money. This is one of those business models where you can start seeing results very quickly. So if you are someone who's in a position where you want to start an online business, but you don't really know if it's going to work yet, this would be one that I would recommend starting. And then within a month, you're going to see that it's starting to work. And basically you can then just start working on it more and more and putting out more content, and then you'll start making more income. Okay, another really common question here is how do you get paid? So how do these companies, when you join their affiliate programs, how do they pay you your commissions? Well, there's a couple different ways. I would say the two most common ways are PayPal. So if you have a PayPal account already, you can literally just send the companies your email address to your PayPal account. And then typically every month at the end of the month for whatever sales that you sent them and whatever commissions you are due, they will automatically send to your PayPal account. Now, speaking of the PayPal account, you don't need a business account for this. You literally just need a personal PayPal account totally free to create and then you just share your email with them for the PayPal account. You don't have to share any other information. Now the second most common way I would say that you are paid is by direct deposit. So the same concept once a month the companies will automatically pay you your commissions but this way it just goes directly into your bank account. Now again you don't need to have a business bank account for this. This is something where you can literally just use your personal bank account. Now with that being said whether you're getting paid through PayPal or you're getting paid through direct deposit you can do affiliate marketing from anywhere in the world. You don't need to be located in the United States. You literally be in any country and you can still do affiliate marketing. You'll see what I mean by this when we talk about the different strategies of doing affiliate marketing. It doesn't matter where you are based. All right, the next thing I think you will find helpful is do you need a business entity? I know we talked about personal PayPal account and your personal bank account to get paid. Well, do you need a business entity for affiliate marketing? 
The answer here is no. You don't need to set up a business entity for this. I would say once you start to make about $50,000 per year in profit, then you might want to consider starting a business entity for yourself. It's just going to make all your commission payments coming in a lot more organized than having it mixed into your personal bank account. Okay, and the last question that I'll put in these rapid fire questions is how much time do you need to invest in this business model? This is one of my favorite benefits to affiliate marketing. The affiliate marketing business model is one where you can create content and you can put time in up front and you publish that content onto the internet and that content lives on the internet for years to come. So it's literally going to make you passive income commissions for years in the future where you don't have to keep updating that content. You don't have to keep publishing more content. Once you get that out there and you've put in a lot of work up front, it's literally going to keep making you money for years. This is something that I can absolutely say from experience. I've been doing affiliate marketing for a couple years now and without lifting a finger, there's content that I've made a few years ago that's still making me hundreds or thousands of dollars every month from a single piece of content. All right, so now that we've gone over what affiliate marketing is, we've answered a bunch of these common questions. Hopefully we're on the same page about the business model. Now let's move on to the fun part here, which is what are the different strategies for doing affiliate marketing, just so you can see which one fits best for you and then you can get started doing it. Okay, so there's three main categories that affiliate marketing strategies fit into. Now, this is where some of my personal experience is going to come into. What I'm about to share with you in these three different categories is not commonly shared, especially this way. So hopefully this is very valuable. So the first overall strategy on how to do affiliate marketing, which happens to be the most beginner friendly here, is what I call search. So basically when someone goes to Google or they go to YouTube and they are making a search about a product that they want to purchase, we want to show up in that content as the results and make a recommendation on the best product that we think would fit them with our affiliate link. So for instance here, if we type in best dirt bike helmet, you can see in the results here, we're going to get kind of these suggested products that you can make a purchase right away. We have Google suggesting us an article, which is the five best dirt bike helmets for track and trail. And then just to show you what else is on this search results page, we have videos that are coming from YouTube. As you can see right here, they all say YouTube on them. And then we have different links to things like Reddit, which is a forum. We have different articles or individual articles that we could read. And this is where we want to show up. So when someone searches for the best item or they're about to make a purchase, they're coming and they're searching for something, we want to show up in these results. Now I'll start with an article result just to show you what that looks like. So any of these basically websites that we're seeing here, you can click on this and it'll bring you to their website where essentially they're going to give us their recommendation of what they think is the best product for us. And then they're going to put their affiliate link. This is common practice on almost all websites, but you'll see things like this. So number one we recommend is this helmet. And here's the link to that product and it's on Amazon. So if we click on that link, it instantly redirects us to Amazon. So for me as a buyer, this looks like I'm just on Amazon, nothing's different. But when you look at the actual link that it sent us on right here, you can see that the tag is Dirt Bike Planet. So you can see that this is actually a referral link from Dirt Bike Planet, which is this website. So to us as the buyer, when we come in and we're reading this article, we click on that link and we go make a purchase, it makes no difference to us that that's an affiliate link. The price of the helmet is the same price on Amazon, but since I clicked on this affiliate link, anything that I go purchase on Amazon right now, they are going to get a commission on. So you'll see as you go down here, you'll see kind of the perks to this helmet and they'll go on to their next helmet, which is number two. Again, another link, it's the same concept here. So that would be the first of these kind of search results here. Basically you're writing an article that's going to show up on Google for when people are searching for something that they want to purchase. Now the second way that you can take advantage of search is with videos. Now this is quickly becoming my favorite way of doing affiliate marketing and without getting into too much detail here, the reason why is that these articles that I just showed you down here that are text-based, well, there's artificial intelligence tools that are coming out just in the last year now and they're getting more and more powerful where basically you can go in and you can say, write me a blog post about the best dirt bike helmet. You hit enter and this is a free artificial intelligence tool that's basically going to write you an entire blog post or an entire text-based article that you can then essentially copy and you can go paste it on your website and publish that to Google. Now, this is going to keep writing here, but just to show you here, this is why I'm not a huge fan of creating the affiliate marketing websites and creating the written articles anymore because anyone can come in here and they can write a hundred of these different articles per day and they can basically just take what are these recommendations, go to Amazon, find 
find the affiliate link and just paste it into here and basically go publish that all over Google. And with that being totally free to do and so easy for people to do nowadays, it's making it a lot harder for us to show up on this first page here with our written article because Google's just getting so many more people sending in articles. So that's why I like these videos. So basically videos show up here on Google as well. So for those of you who don't already know, Google is the number one most visited website on the internet. If you look at just these crazy numbers, there's about 99,000 searches every single second on Google. So we just typed in best dirt bike helmet. That's happening 99,000 times a second on the internet. So there's a ton of traffic going to all of these search result pages. Now with that said, YouTube is the second most popular website on the internet. Now it doesn't say how many searches are on YouTube per second, but there's more than 3 billion searches a month on YouTube. So that's totally separate from Google. Those are in addition to each other. But coming back to this example of the best dirt bike helmet, if instead of creating a text article and posting that on your website and showing up here on Google, if you instead create a video, and you don't even have to be in the video, you can be showing with the camera what that dirt bike helmet is or what that product is you're talking about without you physically being on camera. If you create that video and you publish that to YouTube, you are going to be taking advantage of all of the traffic that comes to YouTube, the 3 billion searches per month. But also, and this is kind of the secret here, you're also going to be able to take advantage of the Google traffic of 99,000 searches per second. Because what not many people know is that Google and YouTube, they're owned by the same company. So Google is now showing these YouTube videos on Google's search results. So you're kind of getting double the traffic or double the people to potentially see your content. Now, when you click on any of these videos, it's going to take you back to YouTube. And then you can see right here, this is the affiliate link right here. So you click on this, it's going to take you to the website and you can make your purchases right here and you earn your commission the same way as if you had a text article. So without getting too much into the nitty gritty here, those are the first two options. They both fall into the search strategy for affiliate marketing. So that brings us into the second overall strategy on how to do affiliate marketing. This one is called social. So rather than using the search approach where people are searching for content regularly and we are creating that content as an answer to their search. This is using social media to build an audience and then present our affiliate products to people. So to show you an example of this, let's come over to Instagram. This is just a run of the mill Instagram page that is a perfect example of affiliate marketing. So this is called Top Online Finds. They actually have 487,000 followers. So in order to do this strategy, you kind of do have to build an audience or already have an audience on some kind of social media channel. That's why I say that this one's a little bit more advanced. But if you are someone who has that, this could be a good fit for you. And basically, you are just showing photos of different products that you are an affiliate for. So in this case, it is most likely Amazon. And she can be creating posts on any product that's on Amazon or even any product elsewhere because you can join multiple different affiliate programs. And then rather than writing an article about that product or creating a video about that product, you're literally taking a photo of that product and then writing in the description what that product is. And then although a little bit of a nuance here on Instagram specifically, you can't put clickable links in each one of these posts. So she's going to say, click the link that's in the bio, which is right here. You click on this link. It's going to say, okay, what are you looking for here? I came in here, I'm looking for the Amazon storefront. And then before you know it, you're on Amazon on her affiliate link. And here's all the products that you see on her social media page. So if you come into here, you click on something that you're looking for, something you saw on her page. Now you can go purchase one of these products and she's going to get her commission that way. So think of this one as kind of the opposite approach from search. The reason that I like search for beginners is because you can create content that's kind of responding to what people are already searching for. With this social method, you're kind of building an audience and then you're continually presenting new products to them. Now, as you continue to grow your audience, every time you make a post, you're going to get more and more people seeing that post. And if they like that product that you posted about, they'll click on your link, they'll go over and make a purchase and you get your commission. Now, something else that would be good to note here is that you can join as many different affiliate programs as you want. You're not limited to just Amazon, for instance. You can join 10, 20, 30 different affiliate programs all at once. And then you can share those links simultaneously. It's not something that's exclusive. You don't have to be an affiliate for just one company. And also with that being said, each company has their own kind of affiliate terms. So we already talked about the commission. You could get paid a percentage of the sale or the percentage that the person spends on the website after they've clicked your link. 
or you could get paid the flat rate as a commission for anything that they purchase. But something that we haven't talked about yet is the cookie window or the attribution window. Basically what that is, is a time frame from when someone clicks your link, how long after they've clicked that link are you still going to get the commission for? Now on Amazon specifically, it's a 24 hour attribution window. So when someone clicks on your link, like I just clicked on her link and now I'm on Amazon, anything that I purchase in the next 24 hours on Amazon, she's going to get the commission for. This could be something totally unrelated. So I could close out of Amazon, I could go make lunch, I could come back and I could purchase something tonight, something that I just needed to buy anyways, she's still going to get the commission because it's within the 24 hour window. However, on some of these other programs out there, the attribution window is 30 days or even 365 days, a full year. So when someone clicks on your link, if they come back in 25 days, or if they come back on some of these programs in five, six, seven months from now, and they decide that they wanna make a purchase on their own, they don't even have to come back and click your link again, you are still going to get that commission. That's kind of the beauty of affiliate marketing. What makes it so passive is that when someone clicks on your link, they have a time frame after that where they can come back on their own and make a purchase and you're still going to get that commission. So that is the second overall strategy for affiliate marketing. We've covered search, we've covered social, and now let's get into the last strategy, which is the most advanced. And this is what I call spend. So in this strategy, you are going to be finding affiliate programs and you're going to be spending your own money on advertising to get those products in front of the right people when they're ready to make a purchase. Now, this strategy is by far going to be the most advanced strategy for affiliate marketing. Many people that I know that do affiliate marketing and have been doing it for years still haven't even gotten into this strategy of affiliate marketing just because it is so technical, it's so hard, there's a lot of risk here, but I want you to be aware of what this strategy is so that if you do have this skill set, you can absolutely do it this way. Now, the most common example for this is found on YouTube or on Facebook. So basically, if you type in anything on YouTube, basically using the search approach. So if we started with best electric bike, you can see two things here. So first, there's an advertisement at the top here that says best electric bike of 2023. If we click on that, it's going to bring us right to a company that sells electric bikes. Now this ad is actually being run by the company. They're selling their own products, but you as an affiliate could be running that ad and knowing that, let's say that you make $100 as your flat rate commission, as long as you can get people to click on this ad and make a purchase with you spending less than $100 on that advertising, you are going to have somewhat of a profit margin margin there. Now, another way you're going to see this is with an actual video. So if you click on the first video that shows up here or any of these real videos that are here on YouTube, this ad that's going to show up here and play before this video is being paid for by someone else. So in most cases, what you're going to see here is an advertisement about electric bikes. So it's targeting someone who is coming in, trying to find the best electric bike, trying to get you to click on their link so that you go make a purchase from the website. And then again, the same concept here, the person running that ad is hoping that they're spending less money than the amount of flat rate or percentage commission that they're going to make when people do make a purchase. Now you will see these video ads on YouTube and you will also see them on Facebook. That is the number one and number two most common places that you're going to see these ads. When you are on Facebook, the way you're going to see it there is just as you're scrolling through your feed, you're going to see an advertisement and it's a video. That's where this is coming into play. So with that being said, the reason that this strategy is so advanced is when we look at the other strategies, basically creating written articles or videos and posting those on Google or posting them on YouTube. And even the next strategy of social where you are building an audience and you're creating posts to them, both of those are entirely free to do. You don't have to pay anything to create that content and put it out there for people to see. And then people will find that content on their own. When you get into this spend category where you're spending money on advertising, every time you are trying to get someone to see that content, you have to pay. So when you look at these other two strategies, there is really no risk to them. Anytime someone comes and they decide to make a purchase, you get paid a commission. But when you look at this advanced strategy, right off the bat, you have to spend money and you have to hope that your ad is good enough and it's targeting the right people that one out of every, let's say 100 or 1000 people actually makes a purchase. So as your costs start to build up, you want to make sure that you're getting a sale that has a commission bigger than the amount 
that you spent. Now, just for reference here, when you are doing this spend approach, the margins are typically, if you're doing this right, about 20%. Now, I say that just so you are aware of what that looks like, although that is a very advanced way to do affiliate marketing. You will typically see the people that are doing that approach are spending five, 10, 15, twenty thousand dollars per day in advertising, and they have everything kind of dialed in here, and they're making a 20% margin. Now, with that being said, something that I've absolutely learned that I think you should know before you get started with affiliate marketing is whatever strategy you choose here is really going to have a big impact on your lifestyle as you're doing affiliate marketing. So for instance, if you are doing the search strategy and you are creating content, whether that is a written article or that is a video, and you're posting that on the internet, that is stress-free. You have no risk there. Once you post that on the internet, it'll live on the internet for years to come and people are just organically going to find it. It's basically, you are answering what people are already searching for. Also, every dollar that you make in commission is just straight profit because you don't have to be paying for any advertising. Now, as you move into the social approach for affiliate marketing, there's a little bit more stress here because you have to consistently be posting and giving your audience a reason to stay subscribed or stay followed to your social account. Also, you're not going to be getting that steady flow of organic traffic like you do on the search. It's more of you're building an audience and then you continually share posts with them. So the lifestyle starts to become a little bit more stressful there because you have to keep up and stay on top of it. And then once you get into this spend strategy for affiliate marketing, that comes with a very stressful lifestyle. You only have a 20% margin there, and in order to make money, you have to be spending money. So you're always going to be thinking about your ads. How are they performing? Do I have to create new ones? Are they starting to perform worse? Do I need to optimize things? There's a lot that comes with that for just a 20% margin. Now you're probably saying, why do people even do that one if it's so high stress? Well, the reason is once you've created a really good ad and a really good video, you can scale that up. So you can go from $500 a day to $500 thousand, in some cases, $50,000 of ad spend per day and you're just going to get 20% of that as long as everything stays the same. So there you have the three strategies for doing affiliate marketing. You've got the search, you've got the social, and you've got the spend. If you are just starting affiliate marketing, I highly recommend starting in the search. Search is simply going to be the easiest way for you to get started as a beginner, and it's super low risk. So I know this is already a really long video, but if you wanna learn more details on how to do the whole search strategy, I'll put a link down in the description. So guys, that's it for this video. If you have any questions or anything that you're still wondering, let me know down in the comments and I'd be happy to help you out.